Good morning, South Africa. Good morning, got a little coffee. So I'm getting ready outside because the lighting is so good. It's 6.30, so we are seizing the day. We're doing a group tour today. I don't know exactly what we're doing, and that's what I love. I didn't have to plan anything. I just paid $100 for this tour, love that. Safe to say, we're loving South Africa so far. It is so cool here. And what I didn't expect is it's really cheap if you're an American. It's the, unbelievable. The conversion of the dollar to the rand is like, and basically everything is like a third of the cost as it would be in the US maybe. Like last night we went to dinner. Everyone got a really nice meal, really nice meal, got at least two drinks, drinks, and it was like, $18 before a tip. 18? The, yeah, the tab for seven people was $147. US dollars. That was after tip. What? Like, I almost felt like being like, guys, I got this one. It's just so crazy. Yeah. And like, we're going on this whole tour today, being driven around, it includes lunch. It includes like three alcoholic drinks, which is kind of aggressive for lunch, but oh my gosh, everyone's on vacation, it so it who it knows? It includes champagne with like, in like an hour, with like the first activity. <laughs> All oh, that, and like going up, I think the cable car or whatever we're doing today, we probably have admission into something for a hundred dollars US. In getting into the diving pool, two dollars because it was a public pool it's like you always hear about that in like thailand and bali i didn't know cape town but it might just be right now because the dollar is like extra strong right now and the rand is extra not strong all right got ready minimally not doing my hair today let's go oh my gosh let's the walk. Clouds oh no oh my god that's so cool all right we're yeah, walking awesome. to starbucks I know someone's gonna give us shit for like getting Starbucks in a different country, but look, if there's something else available, we'll get that. But <laughs> there's actually a place called Seattle Coffee Company that we don't even have in Seattle. I keep seeing it around, it's very funny. <laughs> it's so funny. It feels so tropical this morning. I know, I feel like we're in Kauai. Yeah. Man, some of these houses, super cute Starbucks, honestly. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Load shedding, not a problem. This is like the coolest Starbucks I've ever been in. Best interior. I just love this vibe. I know, it's so beachy. And I got a green juice and a coffee. Look, they put a heart on it. I know. All right, we'll get on the bus starting this day. Can you use okay? I still got my coffee. <laughs> okay, that's one. Then you just okay, then you. Oh. Hi. This is Brody. He's gonna be riding with us. He's so cute. Hi! Oh. We're super lucky because we get to ride with the dog, Brody. He's gonna be right back there. Okay, cool. Monica right here. I think you Brody, come on in! Oh, oh. Hi! Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Right for the goggles, right for the goggles. Oh my god. Oh, he's so cute. I'm obsessed with him. Yeah. This was the coolest way to see the city and I definitely recommend this if you ever go to Cape Town. It was about a two hour ride and they took us all the way up a mountain. We're kind of over there for a while. Yeah, we oh got to the top. Yeah. It kind of just like... Got some little champagne moment. <laughs> Brody. I feel like he was over it. He's like, I've done this like every day this week. <laughs> oh, yum. It's there whether you want it to be or not. Yep. Grab a little champagne. Ooh, thank you. Uh, no, I meant, do we have another bottle or not? Okay. And it means the out at the Airbnb but a couple of us are gonna go walk down and get a drink by the beach so we stay awake everyone fell asleep but I don't I want to be able to sleep tonight so mm. <laughs> a little basil cheers 
Oh, what one is that? Grapefruit. We did a lot of sightseeing this day. We went all the way to Boulders Beach, which has this colony of penguins, which is pretty cool to see. And then went back to Cape Town to have dinner at the waterfront. Another delicious, just such an amazing dinner. I still can't believe how little the price was for it. The next day we actually found a local cafe that was so cute. We had a free day, so we went to a really kind of nice leisurely brunch and then headed back to the house. All right, we're all done with breakfast. We're just gonna get a little work done. Lay by the pool. All right, trying to come up with a good title here. How's your editing? Right now? Yeah. I have not been really getting ready because we just haven't had the time, but I'm going to later today for the beach party. Beach yeah. dinner, welcome party, whatever. But I want to go in the pool. We're going to do our hair for the first time on this trip. But And um, at the wedding. They said the load shedding is going to start at 4 again. At so, 4? I thought so it was... if you want to do your hair, like you need to do it at like 3. Okay, I'm done editing. I'm going to go in the pool. And I'm wearing some sunglasses someone left at our Airbnb because I don't know what happened to mine. Here's the pool at this Airbnb. It's so beautiful. Currently getting ready. My vlog camera is hanging on by a thread. So I haven't been bringing it around much, but rather just using my iPhone. I feel like sometimes the iPhone shots look better too, but they the audio do. isn't as good. Oh my God, if you guys saw Shelby's camera right now. It's, Did that just let happen? me just take, it happened like two days ago. I'll just take a little video of it. It's like falling off. Oh, but look at the view right here. Anyway, we're getting ready for the beach welcome dinner party. And what's about to happen right now in the house, what I mentioned earlier, load shedding. Basically, the power goes out a few times a day here because they have to conserve energy so they don't run out. I did not know that was a thing until the other day. Like, we mostly didn't notice because we've been so out and about, but that is a thing here. However, some businesses and some houses have solar panels, so it's, like, not really an issue, but... I just had no idea. I was like, what? That's wild. Good morning, bride. See, do we see the wedding venue today or tomorrow? Yeah. We see it today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pull myself together. This day it was really clear so we headed to the top of Table Mountain. It's a four hour hike or you can take a tram which is really fast. It's like under 10 minutes to get up here. The view is super cool. And we checked out of the Airbnb this day and we're heading into the wine country area of South Africa, a couple hour drive out of Cape Town. This is the venue that the wedding was at so cool to see it in person okay we just made it to the area where the wedding is the hotel there's a coffee maker for coffee yes in the morning. there's been something in my eye like the past three hours and i can finally go get it out and brush my teeth so very happy uh -huh. oh my gosh yeah they gave us uh this wine hotel, for our birthday this hotel just really needs to redo their photos because like Online, it's just not a, a good vibe, but no. when you get here, you're like, oh my god, this is super Seriously, cool. look at the pool. It's, oh my gosh, wait. So cool. I've never seen It's so cool. It's amazing. Wow. It's amazing. So we just did the rehearsal for the wedding. Hello. Dinner soon. Up for the wedding. 
looks really good in here. Time. This is the most beautiful place ever. We can see giraffes. After the wedding, we all stayed in Cape Town for a night and then headed to the airport in the morning to go to an area called Hoad Spirit, I think is how you say it. They picked us up from the airport in these safari jeeps, super cool, and immediately we saw giraffes and zebras. The landscape in this part of South Africa is really different. It felt really like humid and kind of tropical because it was the rainy season over here. Good morning, guys. Another day of the safari. Decided I'm gonna have terrible lighting in this vlog. No, I'm kidding, but isn't that a little scary? No, I decided I'm actually gonna bring out the big camera today and get some footage of the safari. Maybe I'll do a review on my main channel. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I'll get some good footage. It's 5.30 a.m. You wake up very early for these because that's when the animals are, I guess, the most kind of out and about. So let's go get some coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Why did I think that was an animal? <laughs> I was like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, the first day we went on the safari, we were all kind of nervous and like thinking we were getting too close to the animals. But the way that the animals see the safari car, they think that it's all one sort of animal they don't see the individual people and they're so used to it they kind of ignore you so it really isn't that scary and we all got very used to it by like the second day oh, there's birds eating off of him whoa yeah all of them have this little bird on oh my It's totally like cat-like, it's crazy. So we actually saw a leopard on our first game drive and they said it's pretty rare to see the leopard because it's usually kind of hiding. So we were so nervous because it was above us. It felt like it could have like jumped onto us, but it was so cool to see it. It didn't hang around for long, but it was very cool to see it. The most beautiful moment. It's majestic. You're, you're right. This is nice. Oh, oh wow. And I saw a joke Oh my gosh. That is so... Oh, that's really cute. He like rubbed up against the that's brush. Sort of we are on a morning safari. 6 a.m. And we spotted some elephants. So this day we saw actually like the craziest thing. And I'm going to put a warning if you want to skip it. I'm not going to include anything too graphic. But we did see a lion that had killed a giraffe and was eating it and it was pretty wild there was a group of lions there was probably like five of them there and yeah they said that it's pretty rare to see this it's usually only like once every five months that they kill something like a giraffe and they were eating it for a couple days we went back the next day in the whole stomach area oh god it was really gross you could see everything so i'm not going to include that anyway later on each day we did like a little happy hour out in an area where our tour guides um thought it was safe to do so. Delicious, okay. yeah. Trying one of the these. Try to open. Or did DK have hands in the face? No, mm. I feel <laughs> This is, okay, it's kind of sour, but I'm a, I like it. Oh my God, you guys, I'm back from the safari and I do not feel good. Kind of feel like feverish. So I'm gonna 
rest a little bit, get some food, try and power through. Okay, you guys, I am up and at it. It's the last day here, so I wanna try and feel good. <laughs> Basically, everyone has gotten kind of sick at some point because we're not used to the water. And then I, I accidentally had ice cubes in my drink. I didn't think about it. And so I think that made me feel a little bit weird. So I felt like kind of fevery, body aches, and my stomach did not feel good. And took some ibuprofen, chilled for a bit, drank a bunch of water. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good enough to try and like get out there and enjoy the day, at least for now. So I might as well try because it's the last day. I didn't even show you guys how cool the bathroom is here. The room in general, don't mind our beds are like destroyed right now, but it is so cool. I love the vibe of this place so much. All right, afternoon game drive. I'm not feeling great, but I'm hoping this ibuprofen kicks in. Monica, how you doing? I'm doing probably, probably the I'm best out of anyone. Yes. Yeah, not feeling sick at all? Hi. No, my stomach's Hi. like been weird today, but he was so casual yeah first flight of the day we've got quite a ways to go i'm feeling less sick now though That is it for my South Africa vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I guess before I end this, I'll address a couple things. One, a lot of people asked about safety. And I feel like overall, I felt very safe there because we were in a large group. We weren't going off on our own. Like I never took an Uber alone. It didn't feel scary at all. I honestly felt like more nervous going there. And then once I got there, it really didn't feel even that different from America. It kind of felt similar to LA and Cape Town but places were a lot more secure. There's more like electric fences on houses. That's stuff that you don't see in LA. So you know there is crime, but if you're being careful, you should be fine. And if you're in a group, got a lot of questions about that, but um, comment down below if you know any more about that. Overall, great trip, great place, but totally go back. Okay, see you guys in the next video.